don't think they are earthquakes. They're too frequent. I don't think earthquakes are determined by how frequent they happen. They're determined by the earth fucking quaking. Steven's got a bike. I didn't know Amethyst was an audio commentator for all the blind people in the audience. In this shot, Steven parks his bike on this bit of grass. But in the next shot, the grass just disappears. Why is there just a random line above Steven's upper lip? It doesn't just show up once either. It shows up one more time before disappearing when he turns his head again afterwards. Is it some kind of weird looking detail? Connie's dress was green in the earlier shots and now suddenly it's yellow. And then afterwards it turns back to green. Sapphire's gem is on the wrong hand in this shot. What's that? Nothing. He couldn't even take the two seconds required to explain what the glow bracelet is for. Considering how fast Steven is walking here and how close he is to Connie, he should have tripped over her during the next shot. My name is Steven? I don't think changing how you pronounce your name is going to affect how the conversation goes. When Steven starts to form the bubble, it looks like this book is going to be just outside of the bubble. But then when we go to a wider shot, the book just vanishes. Don't worry about it. I'm magic. Well, half magic on my mom's side. You did this? How is her first question not something like, what do you mean magic? I thought that was just fictional. She is very calm given the circumstances right now. Surely we've established by now that doing this, which I can only describe as trying to take a shit, doesn't actually do anything to your gem. It, uh, doesn't seem to want to go away. Oh. You know what? I would question the weird, not really concerned reaction Connie just gave. But honestly, if I learned I'd be stuck in a bubble with this clown for God knows how long, that would probably be my reaction too. What I can sin, however, is the fact that Connie's lip syncing doesn't at all match the noise she made. Oh. Just about all the rubble that was made by that rock falling is gone in this shot. Oh, come on. That just looks like they stopped trying. Hey, Connie, maybe if you push too, maybe you could get up there. Connie, help! I don't think they can hear you. I see Connie's trying out for the audio commentator role too. <laughs> I don't think it's a great idea to do that when you're looking directly at children. Okay, this is better, but not by much. Sadie's hair is just a darker shade of yellow in these two shots for whatever reason. Also, was the fucking war cry necessary? Can't we just go back to your house? It's okay. I'm a gem. That has literally nothing to do with her question. How does that little bit of breath cause the bubble to fog up that much? The fog also seems to clear up really quickly considering that Connie had a clear spot to make more. Ah! How the fuck did they get away with wiener in hand? We just roll down this ramp as the carts are coming at us. Steven's hands don't even come together here, but they still play a clapping sound effect. And the crash will break us free. What happens after the bubble pops? We'll be free. So did the earthquake roll them onto the tracks or did Steven somehow single-handedly move the bubble onto it? If it's the latter, that's kind of bullshit. Also, Connie's scream here starts fine, but then it just evolves into... <laughs> Boredom. Also, also, I would get an impact like that not killing Steven, considering he's kind of a diamond, but Connie should probably be dead. As someone who wears glasses, seeing someone put their potentially dirty and fingerprint-laden fingers on the lenses just looks wrong to me. Steven's foot is literally as wide as Connie's face. That just looks weird. Also, I'm really sorry, but I'm contractually obligated to put this logo here. You keep saying that, but you don't know what you're doing. As if you're doing much better. Now we're going to suffocate or starve at the bottom of the ocean. And only my parents will notice because no one else cares about me. Priorities, Connie. We could be friends. I saw you at the boardwalk parade last year. You dropped your bracelet. I picked it up, but then I couldn't find you. I saved it in the freezer so it would last longer. In case I saw you again. You were the kid on the car wash float. You had soap bubbles in your hair. I was supposed to be a scrub brush. I'm sorry, Connie. If I had returned your bracelet back then, you wouldn't be stuck in this bubble with me now. 
No, it's okay. I'm having fun. I showed that in full because this moment is kind of special to me, in the sense that it's what drew me back to this show in the first place. I saw a clip of this moment on YouTube back in 2016, and it's what reminded me of Steven Universe and what convinced me to give the show another chance, since the first few episodes made me not want to watch it again. It's a beautiful moment, to be honest, and if it weren't for this, I probably wouldn't be where I am today. So it holds a lot of value to me. So much so that I'm gonna subtract 10 sins. That probably makes me a bit biased, but I don't really care. <laughs> However, this moment isn't free from sin either. For one thing, Steven's left hand only has four fingers in this shot. Also, Connie's glasses don't have lenses in this shot. Why did she even pick out this bracelet when it's not even close to fitting her? Seriously, I'm doing some Photoshop work here. It looks like more than one of her arms would fit. Also, how did she not notice she dropped the bracelet? Either she didn't really care, which, fair enough, or she somehow didn't notice the big circle around her arm was gone. I'm having fun. You have a sick idea of fun. Steven is still in the water. How did his shirt dry? Connie does it too, apparently. Also, Connie's bracelet is on her right arm here when it was on her left in all the previous shots. What, did she just say, hey, I'm gonna switch which arm this thing is on while I'm swimming to the surface? How did her bracelet shrink? Even better, how did Connie shrink here? She's supposed to be taller than Steven. Steven, what's going on? What did you do? Ah, uh, yes, it's Steven's fault that a monster started chasing after him and destroyed the boardwalk. That makes total sense. Are you going to introduce us? Steven was so excited to meet you. Hey, don't mess with his funky flow. That's a sound you make when you're about to piss yourself, not a sound you make when you're embarrassed. What? Steven, this is a bad idea. It's not so bad. 